Hey everybody, I'm Alice Ford and today I wanted to talk to you guys about skincare and traveling and just skincare in general. Um, you know, I've been traveling long term for a long time and I also grew up as an athlete. I was always out on the field playing sports. You know, I ran track, I did gymnastics um, and I was just really outside a lot. And that did a number on my skin. And now that I'm a little bit older, I've noticed that I need to invest a lot more in protecting and taking care of my skin. Um, as a kid, my mom never put sunscreen on me. And so when I turned, I think maybe like 23, I got my first ever kind of like um, UV photo of my face and saw that I had some pretty bad sun damage already. So I've spent the last you know, many years that I'm doing the best that I can for my skin. And I always want to have that nice, healthy glow. So I want to give you a couple of tips to getting your skin um, as beautiful as possible and making sure you have that healthy glow all year round, winter, summer, um, and especially during travel. So my number one tip for making sure you have fantastic, healthy skin is making sure that you drink enough water. And if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you'll notice that I pretty much always have a water bottle with me, which I'm going to have a sip right now. Because water is so, so, so important. And honestly, for me, I don't really drink any other beverages other than water and wine. <laughs> but water is so important. And a good way to judge how much water you need is actually by taking your weight and dividing it by two. And that's um, the amount of ounces that you should have for water. So I weigh around 125. So I divide that by two. And so I know that I need to drink, you know, what is that, 67, 68 um, ounces of water a day. So that's a good judge for me. And then obviously, if you're exercising and sweating, you want to drink a little bit more. So that's a good kind of guideline for anyone for how much water you should be drinking. And you'll notice the difference. If you don't drink a lot of water and you start actually drinking the amount that your body needs, you will notice that you have more energy. You'll notice that your skin looks more refreshed. Um, and, and you're going to notice it all throughout your entire day of just how you feel and how you look. So water is the number one most important thing for making sure you're looking and feeling your best. That article, there was a guy, I think maybe for Huffington Post a couple years ago, that did a 30 days drinking, like I think he drank two gallons of water a day. Um, it's really interesting. If I find it, I'll put a link to that article um, underneath this video when I'm done recording and you guys can read it because it's really amazing just the differences that he had in his energy levels um, and the way that he looked. So make sure you're drinking enough water. And if you are a big soda drinker, just try and get rid of that. Only drink soda you know, once or twice a week if you can. It's really bad for you. <laughs> uh, my number two, number tip number two is make sure that you're wearing sunscreen. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of different sunscreens that I personally really love. Um, sunscreen is so important. And as a kid, as I said, my mom really didn't put sunscreen on me. Growing up with an olive complexion, I just really never got a sunburn. So I guess it wasn't a high, my mom grew up in the 70s. So there's that too. So the sunscreens that I love, like for my face, every morning I put on either this one, which is, um, it's SkinCeuticals, but it's a physical UV defense and sunscreen. It's tinted. So um, I really love it. It's super lightweight. So, and I'll put a link to that below if any of you guys want to um, try this out. It's SPF 50 and it's all natural. So it's got just um, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about those in just a second here. Um, another one that I really like is this broad spectrum. It's SPF 34 and it's also um, tinted, but it's got some age defense in it too. And that's by Skin Medica. And you can get a lot of these at um, some of the like big brand makeup stores, or you can order them online as well. Um, and then the one I wear every day is an SPF 50. It's the it Cosmetics. CC coverage, full coverage. Um, it's like a tinted moisturizer as well. And for
even if you're indoors, I know that there's some people that say that you don't need to wear sunscreen inside, but it's actually the indoors is actually have worse air quality usually than the outdoors. And a lot of the sunscreens have um, a physical fusion defense serum inside of them, which will actually help protect your skin from all the free radicals that are in your interior spaces as well. So it's really important to wear sunscreen. Even the airplane windows, um, a lot of people get really bad sun damage from just sitting in the window seat and you don't even realize it because you are way closer to the sun when you are flying. So you're getting a lot more penetration of the UV rays if you are um, in an airplane and not wearing sunscreen. So there's the other thing I want to talk about with sunscreen is um, these kind of sunscreens. So I know we all love our spray on sunscreens because they're super convenient. Um, please don't ever wear these if you're going in the ocean. Just don't. Um, these actually kill cor coral reefs. So um, they've got all these other ingredients in them. Like this one has avobenzene, homosalate, octisalate, like all these things that are actually chemicals. So they're really, really bad for oceans and they kill coral reefs and fish. So they're really, really terrible. What I would recommend is maybe either a Baby Gannix or the brand that I really love, which you can see this one's kind of like been around the world with me, is Badger Sunscreen. Um, these are all natural. And the only ingredients you should see in an all natural sunscreen are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Um, the, like one other, like this one has octisolate, um, but it is still mineral based. So it's good. It's good. And it won't hurt reefs. The other thing you might see is reef safe sunscreen. Um, so if you are going out on the ocean, those are the only ones that you should ever be buying for that kind of thing. Um, and the other reason why I really like this skin suticles that I wear every day is because it is all natural and it just has those two ingredients. So those things are really good. And as someone that had a lot of sun damage um, from her youth, um, I swear by sunscreen, I wake up every morning and that's like the first thing I do is put sunscreen on. So it's a really important part of your day and it will keep your skin, you know, looking younger for many, many more years um, of your life. So sunscreen is super important and it's fine. The other thing with that is um, just like as far as your daily routine goes, it's really important to exfoliate. I get up every morning, I wash my face. I hope that you guys all do the same because washing your face is really important. Um, but there's a couple of different ways you can exfoliate. Um, one is the Clarisonic, which is great. These are kind of expensive, but I know they make some less expensive ones now that you can pick up and you can just put your, um, your cleanser on here and it actually has a little button and it vibrates and it gets all that dead skin off of your face, which is fantastic. Um, the first time I used this in the shower, um, when my boyfriend and I moved in together, it was really funny because he was like, what's that noise? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> there's also like tons of different exfoliators you can buy um, that have like little dermabrasion, like basically sand in it. Um, the other one that I'm going to say, please don't, is it's made by Cleaning Clear, but it's got microbeads in it. Um, it's like uh, got little blue spots in it and it's supposed to exfoliate. But that actually is really bad for our oceans too because plastic pollution and those microbeads are made out of plastic. So if you are going to get a scrub, make sure you get like either a St. Ives that has like all natural ingredients or something else that's all natural that's not going to hurt our oceans. Um, when it gets washed down your shower. So exfoliating, very important as well. And then my fourth tip here, I think that's cool, <laughs> is um, oil. Now, I know there's also like some people that probably would say that oil is not great for your skin, but I swear by it. And I think that it's really, really important that your skin stays hydrated. You know, the water that we drink helps hydrate our skin from the inside. And then we want to make sure that we're also hydrating our skin from the outside. So like my morning routine, I get up, I put on um, a lightning cream, which I will show in a second here. And then I do a moisturizer and then I do sunscreen. And then I put on, you know, whatever, if I'm going to wear makeup that day, I put that on too. But at night, 
after I wash my face and exfoliate, um, I put on either um, this stuff, it's called bio oil. I know it's backwards, sorry. Um, but it's really great with um, getting rid of scars. But I put it on my face like twice a week just to keep my skin really nice and fresh looking and hydrated. And then I also make, which it's in this little jar, um, it's not gonna look great, but I make a little serum out of coconut oil, vitamin A and vitamin C. Um, and vitamin E as well. So I melt those all and get the liquid form and I make it, mix it together in a little jar and then I let it um, kind of reconstitute. Um, vitamin C is a really good anti-aging um, ointment and vitamin E are the great properties that has in it as well. Um, and coconut oil is just really great for so many different things. But it keeps your skin really hydrated and it's great to put it on at night and just go to sleep and in the morning your skin is like, Oh, thank you so much. So I want to talk about that second item that I talked about just a second ago with um, that I put on in my morning. So because I was in the sun so much as a kid, I do have like some spots that I'm starting to see now that I'm getting a little bit older. So I use a pigment correcting cream. This is called Lightera. You know, it's hard to see with my lights here, um, but it's made by Skin Medica, and I'll put a link for that down in the um, description as well if you want to get that but that you can just put on any like spots that you have or put it on your whole face if you want to do um all of your skin as well and you can put that on in the morning and night or just one or the other um, but it's a great way to just kind of keep any sort of little bits that might be coming up um at bay and my oh i've got two more tips for you guys so my second to last tip is to make sure that you're getting exercise. Um, exercise is really important for looking and staying fresh looking and getting that healthy glow that we all want. You know, the I think the best that I ever look is after I go for a run or do something with a lot of physical activity where I'm really exerting myself and getting some good cardio in. So making sure that you're getting enough exercise is really, really important as well. And um, I would highly recommend that everyone gets at least 30 minutes of exercise a day. There's so many apps now that you can use to kind of encourage yourself to get out the door and, and get exercising. Um, I just on my iPhone use that the heart app, even when I'm not going out and doing anything super crazy. I like doing steps a day. So if that means that I get up and walk in the morning before my coffee and then take a walk you know, before or after dinner, that's what I do um, to make sure that I'm at least getting, you know, the minimum amount of steps that I want to get in and, and not sitting around too much. So that's really important too. Um, second to last, wear a hat. I think you guys have probably seen a lot of my videos where I have like these ridiculous visors on. And that's because it's so important to protect the skin on your face, especially, but the rest of your body too. You know, you want to wear sunscreen everywhere, anything that's exposed. But always wear a hat if you can. And now that I'm like a hat Nazi, every time I go out and I see people running or like out in like crazy sunshine and they're not wearing a hat, I'm like, oh my God, these people are crazy. So make sure you wear a hat. You definitely protect your face at all costs and you're gonna look down forever. And then my last Oh, eating healthy. I wanted to talk about that. Yeah, because like processed foods are really bad for not only just our bodies in general, but they're really bad for our skin as well. So if you want to be looking your best and living a long life and not getting any terrible diseases like diabetes or cancer or heart disease, you know, try and avoid at all costs um, anything with preservatives, anything that is processed, um, lunch meats are terrible. Um, there's like a whole list of things, which I could do a totally different other video on just like what to eat and what not to eat for your best self. Um, if you have questions about like what you should be eating or how much water you should be drinking if there's foods or other things that you should be avoiding, I would love to answer your questions. I studied nutrition in college 
and, um, you know, did three sports in college as well. So I've had a lot of experience with nutrition and dieting and, you know, what's best for our bodies. You know, eating a cl clean and well-balanced diet is the absolute best thing for you. And um, just making sure you're hydrated. So making sure that you're doing the best thing for your body. So those are my tips for looking young, fresh, and beautiful at all times. Um, if you guys have any questions, I would love to answer them. And please make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel.